this is Feed Your Mind, and so looks like hip hop is under fire right now by the feds and the state authorities. They're basically cracking down on hip hop using lyrics against them and uh, submitting lyrics as evidence. The reason why they're saying they can submit lyrics as evidence without violating free speech is because basically everyone has the right to speech freely, they're saying. So you can say whatever you want, but they also can use that, they're saying. They can use anything you say against you. So they're saying it's not a violation of free speech, and they are cracking down on uh, a lot of hip-hop artists and labels. They're saying the labels are actually gangs. A lot of them, well, some of them, they have a whole list of street gangs and labels that they um, that is on their radar. Because um, recently, Young Thug and Gunna just got picked up on a RICO charge, and they're actually a label. Their the label is YSL, Young Slime Life, and um, basically, the uh, the state implemented a RICO charge on them, which is usually done by the feds. So now the states are using this tool. They are cracking down and um, saying that th these labels are actually gangs. So how that works is basically, well, a lot of these labels, the people that created these labels usually uh, came from an environment, you know, where they were affiliated with gangs. And then uh, when they get their record deal, uh, they they get on by speaking about a lot of stuff they grew up around and uh, when they get their record deal they start a label and they might bring a lot of their people that they grew up with from their area and from their neighborhood and basically they form their group the the, the rap group they'll call it something and then the feds are saying well that group is now a gang they're trying to say that the the music label is a actual gang and so they're they're getting enhancers on their sentences and their um the criminal um arrests now because they're saying no you're it's a rico now but just because most of the people they surround themselves with are part of their gang from the streets and, and and they're saying that label is not really a music label so but the thing is it really is a music label a lot of times it's just that these people you know they hang out with um the people they grew up with so that's just the thing where basically you got to watch what company you keep now and who, who you're around they're trying to stop i think a lot of these labels now and because i think they don't like how um powerful they're getting they're they're afraid of uh, the money and influence and power they're getting, and you know it's up to the people running these labels. Like the um, for for the Young Thug case, for example, he would have had to stay out of trouble and not, you know, because they said they have him allegedly on wiretap, uh, ordering people to hurt his ops. So they call it ops, basically, uh, people they're against another group or another gang they're against so they were against a, a another music label called yfl you know young those crew was against yfl so ysl versus yfl and um they're saying they caught young thug ordering hits on yfl even on people in jail and stuff and so that's that's when the uh the state authorities and sometimes the federal authorities will begin to try to link that particular music label with a gang, even if it is actually a music label. So I don't know if that's actually fair. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, th I think the main point is just to stay out of trouble. Like if if you get to a level where you're making all this money and you have this opportunity to make it, you know, to a better life, I, I think that's when these rappers are going to have to, um, you know, stay away from the drama and the trouble and the crime. Uh, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Basically it's, it shouldn't be that hard to, to, um, to change. I know they grew up that way and stuff, but once, once they made it out there, it's like stay away from any type of thing that could get you caught up in something. Cause like I said, um, uh, well, it's, they're really trying to crack down on a lot of different um, drill music now. 
And um, so drill started with Chief Keef and Jojo because before it was it was like you would listen to like things with people like DMX and stuff. And, you know, they'd be talking about people, but it wouldn't be, be real specific. It'd be kind of like an invisible person. They'll be talking about they're going to do something to somebody or, you know, watch how you talk to me and or this will happen and stuff like that. You know, it used to be. But then when when Chief Keef and them came around, they started really name dropping literal people that they were beefing with in the song and talking about real life stuff, real life incidents, real life killings, real life, you know, people that was taken out and they were name dropping them in the songs and. They were talking about Tuka, smoking on Tuka, which is a person that got taken out. And they, they like to brag about that type of stuff. Um, so that's how Drill started. And then it started spreading to, like, um, Brooklyn. It spread to the U.K. It spread to Florida. It started really changing music, well, hip-hop music. So it's like a subgenre of music of, of hip-hop that is pretty much the most violent form of hip-hop. And the most explicit when it comes to like uh, violence and stuff like that, and the most realistic. So people started wanting that, and then people um, it started really spreading. I think that's what's getting the authorities all kind of nervous because when Chief Keith came out, he he was showing the world that you don't have to have a high budget music video to make a lot of noise and make a big impact. They were getting millions and millions of views. Chief Keith was getting millions of views. Just shooting with your personal cam camera and your personal phone, you can even shoot videos with. So they 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 started showing that you don't need all this fancy video equipment to uh, shoot a music video. They got basic software editing, uh, editing software, and they were able to drop videos very quickly and very cheaply. And um, you know, so they're showing and people liked it because they're they're seeing the grit and the real life uh, aspect to the hip hop. So they're basically, you know, seeing instead of like during the Puff Daddy era and the Bad Boy era, these these high budget, fancy clothes and fancy production and all that stuff. That they're saying it wasn't necessary anymore. You could just shoot a video. So then the average person was able to really. Um, so he, he pretty much put all of Chicago on because. The rest of Chicago saw that what Chief Keith got on. They said, well, we got the same equipment. We can do this, too. So all these other blocks started shooting videos and making music and and uh, very quickly. And then it, it started spreading very quickly across the world. And uh, basically, uh, drill music started taking off. And now it's it's caught the attention of the Fed. So they're really trying to crack down on the whole. Um, now it looks like they're, they're just trying to crack down on a lot of these labels and rap period now because it's like it's, it's getting to, getting to the point where they're understanding that they're talking about real life stuff in their songs and they're trying to use their lyrics against them and so yeah it's just basically uh they're under the you know the watch now they're under the watch they want little dirk it looks like they they keep on um well, they're trying to arrest some of his people, and I think they think they're going to get someone to talk. It doesn't look like his people are going to be talking very much to the uh, police. So it's like they just keep trying to nab a lot of his crew members or people affiliated with them um, and see what they can get out of them. And um, they got his artists, and they, they're, they're cracking down on Old Block, even though Dirk isn't from Old Block. He was affiliated with Old Block a lot. And so they're try so it's like they keep raiding Old Block, it's like they're just really trying to crack down on a lot of the music and a lot of the um the labels and and act like they're actual gangs now. So these artists got to play it different, you know. Not like I said, they it's basically they just got to stay out of trouble. If you know, they got to make smart moves. They got to if if they can't carry a gun, because a lot of them like to carry a gun because. A lot of the rappers, you know, some of these rappers have real live ops. Like they have people against them that want to take them out. So they they want to be protected. They they want to protect their chains and their money and stuff. So, but they got to play us. They can't move like they shouldn't be moving like they were in uh, before. Though they got to start getting paid security and stuff. You know, it's like that's just they're gonna have to make it so that they're not breaking any laws. 
And then if, if people are upset with them or if they're upset at any of their ops, they're going to just have to probably let it go because they're watching them so hard. They're going to try to link, you know, if, if one gets taken down, they're trying to take them all down because Gunna, you know, I mean, and then you look at their names like Young Thug and Gunna, the ones that got picked up on the most recent Rico. It's like their names are pretty violent names. They're saying and it's like, well, it's, it's the, the the, uh, the authorities are saying like, oh, they're glorifying those names, um, violence. But some might say it's just a reflection of how they grew up. So, you know, and it's, some might say there's the, their music is just a reflection of how they grew up in. Um, but others might say, no, they're promoting that type of lifestyle in there embracing it and um you know so there's a so people are upset a lot of authorities are upset that these these um street artists are able to make money and supply they think they're supplying their hood with uh, um you know guns and making it um they, they think they're getting more powerful in the streets and it's causing more and more killings and and they're saying that the, these labels are helping um their street games and they, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, look, basically if, if they want to try to link these labels with criminal activity, it's just basically it's up to the artist. Then it's up to the artist to make sure that they stay out the way when it comes to that stuff. And if they're going to be of surrounding themselves around the people they grew up with, you know, it's like that. That's a decision. That's kind of like a liability now. It's like so you got to be careful if if you're gonna be um, if these artists are gonna be still surrounding themselves around uh, the people they grew up with. Then you know it's everyone could get taken down and and one thing because like Gunna, it didn't look like he really even did anything. Like he was just it looked like he was just part of the label from what it looks like so far. Um, he got caught up in this whole Rico thing and. Who, I, it's not real clear what he did. I mean, I know they're saying Young Thug did did a lot. They have him like on tape and stuff, talking about uh, putting hits on people and stuff. But they said they um, you know, but Gunna really doesn't look. I don't know. It's not clear what he did so far. It's like I guess we will have to wait and see if more evidence comes out. But just by being affiliated with a label now, you could be putting yourself. The the authorities could look at that like you're part of a gang now. So I don't know if, if that's really we'll have to see if those charges stick with with, you know, because it's one thing to get the artist that actually is doing something. But to, to to just grab up anybody, you know, close to them, it's like we'll have to see how all that goes, you know, and how how strong those cases actually are, because th this is really the, the state um, taking on Rico charges now and. Like I said, it used to be more of a federal thing, but now it's it's expanding and they're trying to really crack down on the violent hip hop artists, um, labels. They're trying to crack down. They're using their lyrics. And so they got to be careful what they're doing out here and um, pay it. You know, they got to probably just, like I said, stay out of trouble. It shouldn't be that hard to stay out of trouble, especially if you're making millions. You know, if you got, maybe you got to get to, they got to get to the point where they're willing to let something slide. They got to be able to let things go. You know, like if um, Young Thug was was mad at YFL group, it's like maybe it's like okay, just take those millions and just forget it. You know, forget the um, getting payback. I guess you're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make these decisions to to really let things go and not be involved in anything to where. They can't really build nothing on them because they're staying out the way. They're not doing, they're not doing, living the lifestyle anymore. But a lot of the fans, sometimes they want them to be like, um, still active. It looks like a lot of, like a lot of the fans expect their art, favorite artists to be really, um, in the streets. So I don't know. It's like, you know, they're just going to have to play it smart and just know that they're being watched and they're, they're using the lyrics against them now. So they just got to keep that in mind as they uh, move forward. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm going to leave a link if you want to sign up to my free email newsletters. I'm also accepting $1 donations if you want to help keep Feed Your Mind on YouTube. Um, 
I'm also gonna be leaving a link to my other channels. I'm gonna be at Feature My Two dropping videos. And um, so make sure you subscribe over there. I'm gonna leave also links to my social media plus much more. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feature My signing off.